In this video, I'm gonna show you how to correct those crazy hypersaturated and mixed colors right around dusk. And best of all, the before and after that you see here is done in Lightroom and it's only gonna take a couple seconds. Okay, so here's the situation. You're loving that nice, warm, natural light. Like in this shot, where we have that beautiful candlelight, it might be tungsten indoors, whatever it might be. But then you have those crazy blues kind of coming through the background. It could be background sky, it could be through a window. Either way, it kind of throws off the image. Now here, this image is shot on a 5D Mark IV. It was on a 35 millimeter lens at 180th of a second, 1.4 and ISO 800. I left the white balance at 6,700 Kelvin just because I really wanted to, war no, there's, there's really no, I left it there because I was lazy. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm just lazy. Carlo, there's no excuse. So what do we do with this image? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and create a virtual copy because this is the original raw file and I'm gonna do that by pressing command apostrophe or control apostrophe. Now, the first step is obviously to dial in a white balance, right? I'm gonna press the W key to bring up the white balance selector and choose something that's roughly white like the dress. I'm also gonna bring up the exposure a bit. And you might be tempted to think that this is okay, but in my opinion, it's really not. And that's not an opinion, it's, it's the truth. That is objective as you, it's not okay. I'm kidding. I, I, I don't like how hypersaturated the blues are and the greens are and the yellows and it kind of throws off the overall warmth and brightness that I'd like to have in the image. So let's create another virtual copy because some of you might be thinking from here, well, Pi, if it's oversaturated, why not just reduce vibrance and saturation? But when I start pulling vibrance and saturation, it's really going to have this overall effect on the image that affects everything universally and it doesn't give us fine tuning control. So let's do this again. I'm gonna create one more virtual copy this go around. And instead of doing that, I'm gonna leave vibrance and saturation actually where they were. And we're gonna leave the brightness right here. I want you guys to go down to your HSL. And rather than kind of adjusting each of the tones like independently on these sliders, I want you to grab that little HSL adjustment tool right here, okay? So we're gonna choose the saturation, select the little tool and bring it into the image. And from here, I'm just gonna click the areas that I feel like are hypersaturated and pull them down. So having saturation selected is only selecting saturation as I grab the blues right here and I start pulling down. Now what I'm looking for is I want the blues to be mostly neutralized in the shot. And this is gonna be a matter of preference at this point. So I'm gonna pull the blues down to somewhere around negative 90. I mean, that's almost completely down. And if I wanna tweak it, adjust it up later, I can. Next, I'm gonna grab these green tones. And you can see as you mouse over and kind of highlight, you can see which tones you're affecting more than others. Right now I'm affecting mostly greens and a bit of the yellows as well. So I'm gonna pull the greens down so you can still see that they're green, but they're not over the top green. And then I'm gonna grab the yellows. And I'm gonna pull the yellows down quite a bit. Again, I want the yellows to still be yellow, just not pea yellow. Nobody wants pea yellow in their wedding photographs, or any photograph, to be honest. Do you want that in your photographs, Carlo? I think not, you don't even need to answer that, it's rhetorical. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good. Okay, next, I want you to go over the skin tones, because right now we still have a little bit of a skin tone issue, which is the uh, oranges are still just a bit over the top saturated. I'm gonna pull down the oranges a little. Now I'm gonna bring a little bit back in the yellows, because I think I went too far on my yellows, and a tiny bit back on my greens. At this point, if you compare the last two images, so look at this. This is where we tweaked vibrance and saturation, right? We're not done yet, by the way. Look at how much more natural and balanced the tones are on this side. So what I'm gonna keep doing now is I'm actually going to tweak my temperature at this point and just bring it up a little bit. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more magentas back into the image by just bringing up the tint a little, okay? Just about to right here. And then I'm gonna bring in that nice airiness by kind of bringing in some of the blacks and just kind of raising shadows and blacks a bit to kind of give us a nice overall brighter tone. And then I'll increase in contrast. That's it. So just based on adjust adjustments at that point. But now I want you to compare the three different versions of the image, okay? Well, actually we had four versions. So let's grab all four of those and I'm gonna put them side by side. So here we have the original on the left side. Here we have white balance tweaked right next to it, right? And you can still see that the tones are overall super saturated. 
Here on the third step, we pulled out some of the vibrance and some of the saturation, but we end up with this just kind of overall muddy tone. And you know what, Carlo? If you're saying that we're gonna re-record that because of the GD plane flying over our heads, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say leave this thing in here so that they can see my rant and rave and, and just, you know what? Going on to the fourth image, we have this nice, beautiful color tone where we have the skin tones preserved. We can still see the grains. We can still see everything in the image, but it's nice and balanced in the overall shot. Now, let's just go ahead and eliminate this guy from our view by pressing X. And you can see up close just how big of a difference makes. And you can see how we were able to kind of create this nice, beautiful, bright and airy image using the natural light in the scene, just with a bit of tweaking using the HSL panel inside of Lightroom. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and be sure to comment below if you guys have ideas for future videos or any thoughts that you wanna share. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're gonna get our learn on again.